This is the Nikon Z6 III. It's one of the hottest new hybrid cameras of 2024. But despite all of the hype, there's a new feature that Nikon released along with this camera that almost everyone has overlooked. That feature allows you to turn your Nikon into one of the other hottest cameras, the Fuji X106. So today we're gonna do a deep dive on what the heck this secret feature is, how you can use it, and if you stick around, I'm also gonna fill you on on how you could enter to win $100,000. Like actually, let's get into it. All right, now you're probably wondering, Ken, what's this super awesome feature you're talking about? So with the release of the Z6 III, Nikon also released what they're calling Nikon Imaging Cloud, but it didn't get a whole lot of coverage because the camera itself was excitement enough and most folks just sort of ignored it as a little side footnote, which like honestly, fair, because the Z6 III is sweet. So what is Imaging Cloud and why should you care? Well, one of the cool functions is it gives you access to Nikon film recipes. Now you can probably understand where we're going with this in turning it into a Fuji, since Fuji cameras are popular in part because of their film emulation recipes. The issue with the X106 though is that the lens is kind of meh, all the new features that they added versus the five are kind of unnecessary, and good luck finding one to purchase unless you're spending like 2X the retail price. But with the Z6 III, we now have an actually really powerful camera, access to all of Nikon's lenses, incredible video specs, and film recipes. So for the rest of the video, I'm gonna show you how to set it up, how to download Nikon's official recipes, I'll give you access to some recipes that I made for free, and then I'll show you how to make your own if you wanna get really creative with it. Sound like a plan? Dope. So speaking of getting creative, I have a question for you. What would you do if you had $100,000 to create whatever your heart desired? Like, actually. Well, Artlist has just brought back their Artlist 100K Fund, which is an opportunity for one creator to win $100,000 to bring their biggest creative idea to life. Like, maybe you have a short film that you've always wanted to make, but you don't have access to, like, the lighting or actors or the other crew to help you make it. Or maybe you want to send a camera to outer space to capture the Northern Lights, like last year's winners. Well, now is your chance to finally make those crazy ideas happen. To enter, all you have to do is post a video on your socials showcasing your 100K idea and tag artlist.io. Be sure to also use the hashtag artlist100k fund and check out all the rest of the information that you would need at artlist.io which I'll link to that in the description of this video. I'll also leave a link to sign up for Artlist, which gives you two free months when you sign up for a year subscription. So a huge thank you to Artlist for sponsoring this video and for giving us a chance and all of you to make your dreams become reality. Okay, so Imaging Cloud. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is sign up for a free Nikon Imaging Cloud account. You can do that at imagingcloud.nikon.com. Once you've signed up, we'll wanna connect the camera to Imaging Cloud. On the first time, it's very annoying. So just kind of bear with me for a second here. If we go into menu and then go down to the network menu and go to Nikon Imaging Cloud, turn that on, and then it'll ask you to connect to a Wi-Fi network. I've already connected to the Wi-Fi, so I'm just gonna connect to my Wi-Fi. And then that will bring up this here, which has this QR code. So now let's take our phone and scan that QR code. And that is going to bring up the Nikon Imaging Cloud website. This is gonna be your kind of home base. The annoying thing is that there's no app for this yet. So what I'll say is you're gonna to want to bookmark this to your home page. So on iPhone, if you tap here and then go to add to home screen uh, and then add, now that will be added to your home screen. So it'll be easy to pop up later. Now we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and sign into that Nikon account that we just created. So let's tap sign in. All right, so once you're signed in and connected to the Wi-Fi on the camera, let's go ahead and connect, hit connect to camera. And it's gonna give you this access code. So in my instance, it's 01. And so now we're gonna enter in 01 over here. So just 01, okay. And now it will be connecting to the cloud on the camera. So that will then bring up yet another QR code. So let's go ahead and scan this one as well. And then we'll just go ahead and hit connect. It's gonna be connecting over here. We'll get a little hourglass. And then once that's connected, we get a connection wizard setup complete. So we'll hit okay. So we are now connected. And then over here, we'll go back to the Nikon Imaging Cloud home. 
Okay, so now you should be automatically connected moving forward. You don't have to do this process again, but maybe save this video just in case you get messed up later on in the future. You can come back to it. And, and while you're at it, maybe you should just consider hitting subscribe as well. Okay, so now let's get you started by downloading some pre-made recipes. Scroll down to imaging recipes and tap on that one. Now at this top menu, we have saved recipes, registered recipes on the camera, and then Nikon recipes. So let's tap on Nikon recipes and you see we have our famous Nikon ambassadors to choose from. So maybe we'll try out Emily Hill. Let's tap on Emily Hill. And then there's two different options here. Let's do this boho look. So we have boho look here. Now we'll tap on add to saved recipes. So that one's now added to our saved recipes. And if we go up to the top here, we have our saved recipes. I've already saved a couple of different ones. You see, I've saved this boho look one a couple times. So once we've saved some recipes, we can move them over to the camera. So I'll hit this select option and then I'll select the ones that I want to send over to the camera. And then under batch operations, I'm gonna register recipes to Nikon Z63. It will then register those over. And then if we tap on registered recipes, this will show all of the recipes that are registered on the camera and we can slide them up and down. We have nine total slots to choose from. So I have four that are already set up for myself here. All right, so now we have the recipes saved on our Imaging Cloud account. Now we want to move them over to the camera. So if we go into our menu under the photo shooting menu and then scroll down until we get to set picture control. We'll go over and then scroll all the way down. You won't have these here yet, but if we tap on add cloud picture control files, this will then update the ones that we have set here from the cloud over to here. So you'll now notice now that these all match. So now that they're on the camera, how do we actually use them? Well, I've programmed my eye menu here to be set picture control. So now I can just swipe through those four that I have added. And then this automatically applies that recipe to my images. Now, one thing to note, recipes will only apply to JPEG images, not RAWs. Like the raw preview will still show the JPEG, but then once you get on the computer, it'll just show the raw. So for me, I like having a little bit of extra flexibility. So I have my camera set to shoot both JPEG and raw. That way I can still always go back and edit the raw if I decide to later. So I'm sure this Emily gal is nice and all, but I want my images to have my own look, not Emily's look. So rather than using the pre-made ones available on Nikon creators, I wanted to make my own. So I've made four for all of you that are kind of film inspired. I have Timeless, which is sort of my best efforts to replicate like a Kodak Portra style look. I also have Analog, which is a little less stylized and then Expired Film, which kind of gives that green teal filmic vibe. And then sometimes you just wanna shoot in black and white. So I also have a Noir, which is a very heavy contrast black and white recipe in there for you as well. I'll put a link in the description that will allow you to download all of those. And then I'll show you how to install them onto your Nikon in just a second, because it's gonna be a little bit different than the imaging cloud solution that we just went through. Each of these recipes is based off of my Everyday Essentials Lightroom preset pack that I recently released with my buddy, Andrew Optics. So if you want to use those outside of the camera and use that Lightroom preset pack, that one is also free, which I will link to in the description. All this free stuff, maybe just you know return the favor by hitting subscribe if you haven't already. All right, now let's say you want to make your own because you're creative, you're gonna win the Artlist 100K fund and you want your own recipes. For that, we'll want to download the NX Studio desktop app, which I have open right here. Now, for those that haven't used NX Studio before, it's basically like Nikon's version of Lightroom. So what we can do is we can use it to edit any Nikon raw image and then save those edits as a preset and then load it in as a recipe within the Z6 III. There are a few downsides to this process, namely that we can't save all of the settings that we have available to us as a profile preset. We're basically limited to just this basic edit palettes. So first things first, we need to click on this picture control, drop down here and select flexible color. Now this is gonna make everything really flat and desaturate it quite a bit. So we are gonna have to use a few things here to kind of bring all that back. 
From here, you can adjust your sharpening and your clarity and things like that. Uh, and then we have our basic exposure sliders that you might be used to in Lightroom. So we could add some contrast back in, we can balance out the highlights, bring up some shadows, drop our blacks, maybe bring up a little bit more saturation, something like that. Now, if you want some added additional tonal control, you can do so by selecting the custom tone curve here. Unfortunately, you can only use the tone curve or the standard sliders. You can't use them in combination. And I'm also a bit bummed that we only have access to like the normal curve. We don't have access to the individual RGB curves since that's a way that I really like to kind of manage my color grading in an image. But you do still have some additional color control down here in color blender and uh, color grading. So color blender is probably something that you're very familiar with if you use Lightroom, which is, this is basically the HSL tab within Lightroom, but instead of hue, saturation, and luminance, we have hue, chroma, and brightness, but it's basically the same thing. I don't think I really need to teach you how to use that, but that's how you would go ahead and edit your colors. You also have access to the color grading wheels, which again, you're also probably used to if you're used to Lightroom. So we have highlights, midtones, shadows, three-way, we can blend them together. So maybe we wanna add like some blue to the shadows, warm to the highlights, maybe like funky, do greens in the midtones. This is this is not how I would do it, but you know, just for illustrations purpose, we can balance this all out. Uh, so now all of these settings that we have in here, we can then save those. So if we come back up here to this flexible color, click on this flexible color dropdown again, and then go to add to custom picture controls. Now let's give it a name, so like Meshna's cool profile, hit okay. So that's now saved within NX Studio and we could come back to it whenever we want, but to export it, we come up here to custom picture control and then select export custom picture control. So these are now all of the ones that I've saved. So if I wanted to export all of these ones that I just talked about, we have all check all those ones and then we do export to file. So now just save it to somewhere that you'll be able to find it later. And then these are, and then go ahead and hit okay. And these are all gonna save as .mp3 files. All we gotta do is take our memory card that we're gonna put into our Nikon, plug that into our computer, and then just drag all those MP3 files onto the main root directory of the SD card or CF Express card. Don't have to put them in a folder, you just wanna put them in the main area. Once those are loaded onto here, we're going to pop them back into our Nikon, and then we're gonna go to shooting menu again, and we're gonna go to, this time, manage picture control. Now let's go down to load slash save, and we're gonna do copy to camera. So now we have those ones that I had downloaded there, and we can just go ahead and add those in, and we can add these in now to our picture controls. Again, we have nine available to choose from. To use this recipe, you're gonna do that same exact process that we showed before. We go over to our I menu and then we can cycle through all of these here. So now we have our timeless, our noir, our analog, and then we also have those uh, Nikon ones that we downloaded from Imaging Cloud. Now, there are a few downsides to this. First, in comparison to the Fuji cameras, you do get a little bit less options, like you can't add grain, for example. Obviously, that's not the end of the world, but I know a lot of people would really love to have the option of having that like stylized, grainy film look straight out of camera. So that's one thing that you can't do. Secondly, this is only currently available on the Z6 III. I would personally love to have this come to the ZF since that is a super fun camera. And I think many people who are ZF shooters would be a really great audience for this type of straight out of the camera recipe combo thing. And if we're being true to this idea of turning a Nikon into a Fuji, the retro vibe of the ZF definitely makes a bit more sense than on the Z6 III. But if you found this video helpful, I definitely recommend watching some of my other Nikon videos, such as this one, where I give you a guide to advanced autofocus setup on the Z cameras. I'll leave you with that one. And until then, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.